The response to the Charlie Hebdo attacks that shook France this month has been relatively muted in Thailand. Many people were shocked by the violence, but they also find disgraceful and distasteful the images in the satirical magazine. It has struck a chord with those who feel the notion of freedom of speech has been undermined since the military takeover last year. CC's Tony Chang has more. In a fashionable corner of Bangkok, a small theater readies for the evening show. It's a special performance prompted by the Charlie Hebdo attacks. But the theme of freedom of speech has a distinct resonance in Thailand. As the play gets underway, the sole performer starts to lament the difficulties of getting military approval for a performance. It's hard to see where the performance ends and the reality begins. As if on cue, two late arrivals. These are soldiers in plain clothes, here to monitor the performance and the audience. Their presence is cleverly improvised into the piece. The audience get the joke, the soldiers not so much. After a while, they leave. But we decided to turn the tables and ask them what exactly they had been doing. I was ordered by my commander to monitor every performance. If it is the same every time, it's OK. But if they change the performance, I have to report them. After they leave, the performance does change, but little is said. To a soundtrack of foreign news reports, the artist starts to express herself with movement. The overall impression is one of great frustration. We'd asked to speak to the play's producers, but they'd been advised by their lawyers to stay silent. But this is just a one-man play for a very small audience. Since the coup, very little dissent has been voiced opposing the military junta. Thailand has traditionally enjoyed quite high levels of freedom of speech, but people here tend to look at it as rather more of a privilege than something they're entitled to. So when it's gone, as it is at the moment under the current military government, people tend not to complain. The few voices that have been raised have been quickly silenced. More than 300 academics and activists have been detained by the military without charge since the coup. This former cabinet minister, who spoke to CCTV last week about the impeachment of Yingluck Shinawat, was summoned to appear before the military on Thursday. And some feel the censorship and self-censorship created by this climate of fear will just deepen the divisions that exist in Thailand. Yeah. Uh, the problem is in Thailand we are lacking uh, the space and uh, the ability of having a, a intellectual debate. Finally, it will come like a, a warfare mm -hmm. between two sides. In the final scene of the play, the actress takes the role of a prisoner, serving a sentence for less majesty, the crime of offending the monarchy. It's an archaic law, poorly defined, but frequently used as a tool by Thailand's rulers to silence those perceived as a threat. Prison, says the character, is the price you pay for living in a country where no one dares to speak out. Tony Cheng, CCTV, Bangkok.